Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your makeup girl, Rock'em Sakura. Thank you so much for joining us on this channel today. So a couple weeks ago, we followed a uh, makeup tutorial for my uh, season 12 sister, Miss Gigi Good. And you guys liked that video so much that I decided to um, just kind of make this a series. So I looked at your guys' comments from the last video and a lot of you guys suggested that I do this makeup tutorial today. That's right, today we're gonna be doing Got Mick from season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Look, in the last one you guys saw, I just don't have the same materials that other drag queens have. So if there's ever a time that I just don't have the material that they use in the video, we're gonna have to replace it with something. Don't come for me, I'm poor. I can't afford new makeup, okay? Especially for these. With that being said, before we jump into the tutorial, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, leave a comment down below, and of course, if you like this at any time during the video, you can applaud and give me a little cash tip. Let's get started. Let's get this roast to cooking. Hi guys, it is me, God Hi. All right. <laughs> so they're just gonna glue their brows and not tell me how to do it. Yeah, they just did not tell us how to do our brows. So I'm just going to do them the way I thought I saw them. I mean, brows are pretty easy. We can speed through this part. Wow. Look at that. And I never see anyone else do their sideburns. Maybe I'll keep watching. Maybe they do do their sideburns, but please, God, do your sideburns. Also, um, Mix sets her eyebrows with Ben Nye powder. Super white? I, uh, either super white or, I don't know, they didn't say. But they said it with Ben Nye, which is too expensive for me. <laughs> Cliche to have a drag queen where it's like, paint my face. But like, I've literally never had anyone else paint my face before. We could do Jackie and she'll paint on a beard. I know it's gay, but I would love to have Nikki paint my face. Jan paint my face too. So I glued down my brows. We're gonna wait for them to like really completely dry and then we're gonna go ahead and go on with the next step. So shout out to uh, LaRousse Cosmetics. I wanted to give them a try on today's video. Not because um, I wanted to like plug their channel. I, not like I'm getting paid for this or anything, but because all of my brushes are fucking dirty and I can't do a makeup tutorial that has white makeup and have dirty brushes so this is the only way that I could do this makeup clean is by using completely new brushes there's a lot of there's a lot of primer in here I have never applied anything with a brush so this is a new experience for me I have this Krylon super foundation that we're gonna use today do I look funny Hi, sisters. <laughs> How yellow are my teeth? <laughs> How? Ah, look at this! Do you still hear them screaming, Clarice? The lambs? Is it bad? Look, it's washed! I am not! Look, I have a clean one right here that's white. But it's small. So we're just gonna blend this in with this itty bitty teensy weeny tiny beauty blender brush <laughs> i'm just gonna use the brush because all of my beauty blenders are dirty and i don't have super white powder i literally have nothing i know i prefaced the video saying that i have nothing but i literally have nothing mick if you're watching this i'm so sorry okay powder this down Okay, I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and just get all the crevices. So now that we just contoured with powder. Okay, next step is contour. Okay, they literally said use a gray eyeshadow, but I don't have a gray eyeshadow. That is the theme of this video, is they said to do this, I don't got this. So I'm gonna go in with this uh, fluffy um, blush brush. Cause I don't have, I literally like don't have a gray shadow. So I'm gonna lay a layer of white and then we're gonna add some black shadow, but we're gonna do it, um, one, we're gonna do it very light. And two, this kind of blanket of white shadow is gonna act as like a little buffer. Uh, next thing is I'm gonna take this highlighter brush, 
Um, highlighter brushes are really good at like diffusing products. And I'm just gonna contour with this black shadow from Sugar Pill. It's very pigmented. Let's just see how, how it goes. Mick knows she's good at makeup, right? So that's why she's like, let's see. Set this half. Going back in with this little angel, and since this is all still wet, I just cut this contour into my mouth. Look at the difference. Look at the side. Look at this cut side, not cut side. Cut side, not cut side. White face, teeth. I'm so stressed every time I do this. Like when I did Gigi's, I got really stressed. Do you remember that? I cannot believe that following someone else's makeup tutorial is making me this upset. You know what it is? It's because I'm on camera and there's accountability. It's squiggly and crazy. Rose calls it a bumpy crease. I have a lot bumpy of crease. Things, but we're gonna cover our whole eyelid because Mix thinks that hooded liner, hooded eyelids are cuter. So they like that kind of like large shape, and I totally agree. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. <laughs> I love this look so far though. It's really, really interesting. Very much out of my normal comfort zone, especially with the gray contouring. Wow, Rock'em Sakura's white eyeliner is out of control. It's literally just her whole face now. Maybe thinking about water. Eye shapes in the past. I was like, let's just copy this track. Okay, so now we're gonna start with pink. I have this, what well, I have is this day, UV Day Glow Aqua Color in UV Pink. Um, these Krylon colors, I love Krylon, but their UV, they're like their aqua color paints can get a little patchy. So we're really just gonna try and take our time with this liner right now. And we're gonna try to emulate this kind of like wiggly, I almost said like a clam shape. I don't know, it's just a wiggly shape. Man, the amount of focus for this Makeup, ridiculous. It's funny because um, Mick is talking about getting onto the main stage, coming into the show and not knowing what to do when you walk in first. Literally, I had no clue that I was gonna be first in there. So when I jumped onto the floor and I did my Homer Simpson thing, no one was there to react. And I felt like Trixie in All Stars where it's like, that would have killed if people were here. Let's go ahead and add the green. Okay, so we did the black liner, but now we're supposed to go back in with um, neon yellow over that line. Here's the thing, I don't have neon yellow. I do have this liquid line, it is yellow, but it's not like neon yellow. This is the NYX Vivid Brights. I think it should be fine. And I think that we should just count our blessings that we even have some sort of liquid yellow. These are colors that I just never use. Hot, hot, like hot pink, green, and yellow. I would never use this on my day to day. That's why I kind of like this series because it kind of makes you push your boundaries or just like actually go there and experiment with makeup. All right, we got the yellow on. What is the next step, Mick? Draw a black line in between these two to give it some more depth. Now I'm going to do my white and my water. Oh my God, you literally didn't show it though. It just like popped in. So now we're gonna add a black in between these colors. That's interesting. God help me. Oh. <laughs> that was fucking scary. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. I feel sick like I could throw up. Fuck my life. I almost had a heart attack. Okay, so we're gonna do white under the eye. I've never done this before, so. My favorite artistry palette. I'm going to okay, so now um, they go in with this orange liner underneath. We don't have an orange liner. We just it. We just don't have it in any capacity. This time, this time, this one time, uh, I'm gonna have to go in with this UV palette from Krylon. This um, black light reactive um, makeup palette. The only reason why I wasn't using these before is because it's UV grease and UV grease specifically is so, it like sweats, it gets really greasy, but this time we're gonna have to suck it up. And it looks like this orange goes all the way to meet that these two colors up here. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this orange from the UV palette and set it down. Oh, look at how opaque it is. 
with the shadow on it. This clown line, so we're gonna draw those now with black liner. Okay, so now I also have a center one, so I just... All right, so now we're gonna add these like kind of like kiss lines. And then Mick was saying from the bottom of their eye, just straight down. All right, let's add a mole. My favorite moment of that whole episode, which doesn't look like a fun moment, but girl, de-dragging is so fun. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna contour our nose, which I was not looking forward to because I don't have the gray shadow. So it really is just gonna rely on me diffusing this makeup. We're taking a little bit of this shadow and I'm actually, I actually have a towel over here that I'm just wiping the excess off. Mind you guys, this is after I brushed off all the excess. Okay, you see how dark this nose contour is right now? I'm gonna go over the whole thing. I'm gonna go over this whole contour in white. This is a process and this is all happening because I don't have gray shadow. Now we need an eyebrow. Okay. So okay, we're highlighting the, we're highlighting our cheeks. Um, I guess we're using like a white. Ah, ha, ah, oh. I'm acting. Okay, the Lady Gaga four-way poolside palette has like a highlighter color that we can use. Come through Lady Gaga. Highlight the tip. I, I literally don't see it. Okay, let's keep going. Wait, where did those eyebrows come from? Where the? Now we need an eyebrow. Okay, so now that I'm hurting straight up. Her instructions were, now we need an eyebrow, okay. Ah, I don't know how to do that eyebrow, Mick. Let's try to emulate what we see here. I never do eyebrows. And just the fact that this look has eyebrows. Okay, so I guess it goes down here. It touches a little bit. <sighs> okay, that was nerve wracking because I never do eyebrows. All right, let's go ahead and do our lip. Mick really likes black lipstick. I, on the other hand, do not like black lipstick because I do not own black lipstick. Surprise, surprise. Rock'em Sakura doesn't own black lipstick. You know what we do own is black liner. So I'm gonna fill my lip in with a black liner. You ever think to yourself, why does everyone in the world have such amazing cheekbones? And my face looks like a piece of bread. Okay, I'm gonna take that highlighter from before, add it to the lip to kind of make it look wet. I feel totally transformed right now. All right, what's after that? Let's go, I'm hyped. So I have to spray a dewy setting spray on it so it looks like skin again because... All right, the next step is lashes. So I'm going to use this all right, so we already did mascara. We're gonna go ahead and do the contact lenses and put on the lash, and I think we'll be good to go. There's a bee! It's a bee! Oh, what? This is the final look, everybody. What do we think? It's Gorge, right? It's George. What do they say, George? Gagatronica. Oh, ooh, Gagatronica. This makeup looks really good. Like I actually look like Mick right now. Don't you think so? With everything together, this is the only hair that I have. I don't have black hair. I have anything. I don't have a middle part black hair. Am I supposed to? I don't think so. Like we're in agreement that I look fucking stunning right now. Oh my god, bitch, you look better than I did. I'm gagged, but I was blending out that white, though. I was blending out that white, though. I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I'm really happy that we're turning this into a series. Like I said before, if there's anyone that you would like to see um, me follow their makeup tutorial and do a look, please leave it down in the description below. I would really like to hear some of your guys' input. We're definitely gonna do like Trixie Mattel. We're definitely gonna do Crystal Method. So you guys can leave them off the list because I'm definitely gonna do them. But anyone else, like I would really love to hear who like I should do in the next video. Before we go today, I would really just like to thank all of my amazing 
beautiful, wonderful supporters on Patreon. Thanks to all you beautiful patrons, these videos are possible. If you guys wanna help fund these videos and become a patron yourselves, please follow the, the link in the description below. We have so many perks and different tiers for you guys. Um, basically, if you don't have money, if you do have money, there are ways for you to support me. And of course, make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe to this channel. You guys, we are so close right now to hitting 50,000 subs on this channel. Please make sure to um, share this video, share it with your friends. Make sure to get all of your friends who are not subscribed to this channel, get them subbed. Um, because hitting 50,000 really is just like a big marker, a big goal for us. I would be so grateful if we finally hit that, um, if we finally hit that milestone. Um, but for those of you guys who have been here from the beginning, thank you so much. And thank you for helping us grow. I love you. Bye. Talk to you later.